Just two hours north of Phoenix is the town of Sedona, Arizona, a town named for the wife of its founder and famed for its scenery. Along a magnificent backdrop for the movies, Sedona has changed, and that which brought the filmmakers now brings the tourists. From Sedona, here's our man in Hollywood, Jim Brown. Why are we brought here like this? Kuzima breaks his word to keep the peace with the white man. Kuzima keeps his word. Want to know if white men will keep theirs. Actually, they were brought here because the setting is spectacular. Sedona has been a favorite of movie makers since the days of the silence. And over the last 75 years, Hollywood's biggest names have made this small northern Arizona town and its magnificent red rock landscape a prime destination. And one man who is much a part of that history is Bob Bradshaw. He's been here half a century, first as a carpenter, then a movie extra, then doubling on horseback for the stars. As his knowledge of Sedona grew, he was the man to call for the right movie setting. Back in the uh, 40s and the 50s, we used to do like three features a year. You could shoot anywhere because there was no houses. And hardly any accommodations. Sedona looked like this when Bradshaw moved here. Now, well, look at that mountain in the background of our opening scene from 1950's Comanche Territory. It would be impossible to match that shot today. For Sedona has become a community of 8,500 people with three million tourists passing through here each year, as many as are drawn to the Grand Canyon. And there are realtors everywhere, ready to sell you a piece of land in an extraordinary setting, the same settings the movies once used. So if you ask Bob Bradshaw to pick his favorite Sedona backdrop, his answer is qualified. It used to be Red Rock Crossing because it was completely unspoiled, but uh, the Forest Service has put up a rock wall in place of a nice slope into the water. Forest Service won't let anybody run through the water and come out the other side like we used to do. And it's, it's just spoiled now, but it used to be the most beautiful shot of all, which is uh, the reason that it was used on every movie. Every feature used Red Rock Crossing in some shot. Looks like they've been spotted around 35 miles south of here near Sedona. There are officers in pursuit. Nowadays, the stagecoaches and horses have given way to actors such as Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin in motorized chases hardly taking time to enjoy the scenery as they roar through in midnight run. And only a flat tire caused Michael Madsen and Patricia Arquette to stop here in Trouble Bound. Look, there's Bell Rock in the background. As it was for decades of westerns when the fastest thing in sight was the horse. But that was then, this is now. Take, for example, Coffee Pot Rock. Among the rugged spires and brilliantly hued cliffs of Sedona, a background like this is used over and over and over again. But it's hard to saddle up here nowadays. When the foresters start trading off the hills, and, and then there's houses everywhere in a shot. And, you know, it'd be so much more beautiful if they'd left it the way it was, not just for movies, but for tourists. and. And anybody that comes through, there'd be a lot more scenery. Well, it'll always be the way it was in those old movies. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Sedona. It's 842. Here's Katie.